on Deer. Another Benito beautiful morning here in Dili. I am out just below the Cristo Rey statue of Jesus just up there. Lots of steps to get up to here and then my plan for this morning is to uh, wander along the ridge line as far as I can go um, out there. Should be a bit of an adventure so let's see how it goes. The track goes up and over a ridge and then down to an old water tank and then hopefully you can see there's a bit of a track heading up the hillside up towards the uh, radio mast at the top. The path is quite um, steep in places and quite uh, lots of loose kind of rocks and slippery so just be careful if you have hiking poles they will be invaluable. No, this is not a well-defined route. Uh, it's quite unclear where one needs to go other than trial and error and following some of the uh, the cow poo. Uh, I just turned right because it looked like a bit of a path, but it's a bit of a dead end here with a bluff. So I head back down um, and take the junction there on the left and see how that goes. There really is no path. It's just scrambling up the side of a rather steep and eroded hillside carefully. Making progress, coming down is not going to be much fun, a bit more to go. I may be wrong but this looks like a potential way up just to the right, up to the top. Bit of a dead end this way so I'm going to have to scramble back down again and try it from the uh, the left side heading up towards the antennae and there's a uh, crystal ray behind. Defeated by the bluff, so up to the right doesn't seem to be the right way, but I will have a little bit of a nose around around to the left, which um, uh, looks slightly marginally safer, although it's all relative. From here, there's a nice view of Cristo Rey, and you might be able to see or maybe hear the construction work going on both the uh, on the right and the left there. So there used to be a road that went around the Cape that got washed away um, in some big storms and they are rebuilding that road for the visit of the Pope in August this year, which is going to be a huge event for Timor-Leste. These are called goat tracks for a reason. You have to be a goat to be able to uh, walk along them safely. I made it to the antennae, the top of the hill, um, although it was very much type 3 fun to get here. Uh, it wasn't much fun at the time and it wasn't fun thinking about, back about it. So I came up a bit of a rocky gully thinking, well, there'll be some rocks that'll be okay for climbing, but the rocks here are pretty, they either break off in your hand or they come out of the soil. It's very scrabbly. So I just sort of scrabbled up about 20 or 30 meters, which um, is not the recommended route. Um, hopefully on the way back, I can find a safer way to uh, get up here. That actually appears to be a well-worn path up here, which is um, kind of unexpected and amazing. This looks more like the uh, correct way to get up to the antennae. So kind of head halfway up towards the antennae and then turn left and saddle your way all the way around the hillside a lot further than I thought it was. And hopefully you'll come to this nice easy gully, which is certainly a lot uh, easier looking than the way I scrambled up to the top. Far the easiest hiking of the day through this uh, beautiful patch of uh, eucalyptus trees. Cows. Hopefully they'll continue to run away. Always a bit unnerving to have a whole bunch of animals looking at you. Hopefully I can get out of their way and get up the hill. From here there's a much better way of view of how to get up to the antennae. So from Crystal Ray up and over the first ridge line that's straightforward. And then just don't really go up the second one, just saddle around to the left all the way around basically and then join onto the saddle down there and then head up to the antennae um, that's a lot easier and safer path back down just follow the goats excellent more cows the lift will be quite good right now get me back home a bit quicker had to outflank the cows, but um, I'm pretty sure this is the road now. We should take them down to the main road, the Horta Road, and then back into town. So just at the uh, top of the hill, when you come up the Horta Road, you turn left 
along this uh, road. That's the way to uh, go if you want to do this in the opposite direction, which is probably better. Easy to see I missed the turn off before. It doesn't look particularly easy to get around the barbed wire and the sketchy thing, but I kind of need to get around there to get back on the road to get home. So um, here's giving it a go. Such a relief to be back on the road. It wasn't too bad in the end getting around that um, fence. And now I've just got an easy walk down Halter Road back into uh, town basically to catch the Micralet. Uh, so hopefully this video, the key takeaway from this video is to basically don't do anything that I did today, uh, do the opposite. So I would suggest that you start from this end and then you finish at Cristo Rey. It's a lot easier navigationally. Uh, it's probably good to go with a buddy and make sure that you just, you prepare this as quite a, a tough walk. Uh, there's no clear um, tracks. It's obviously no water and food along the way, you're exposed. So um, just be prepared for a bit of an adventure, but hopefully a bit less than, uh, more type two than type three that I had today.